Why aren't people talking about Iron Man? Why aren't they talking about Pepper Potts? Why isn't Stark Industries featured in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? These are questions many people have and now we have some answers. Let's get to it. So I will give you the honest short answer of why I think this is. Because they're saving it for Armor Wars and Ironheart. I mean... That makes sense, right? They don't want to spoil the status of Pepper Potts and Stark Industries and all that. I mean, just think about it. What would be the point, right? Anyways, the head writer of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Malcolm Spellman, was asked about this recently by Deadline. And he was asked about the MCU in its current, uh, I guess, state, if you will, after the blip. And what everybody is sort of uh, going towards in the future of the MCU. And while he couldn't confirm another Avengers or Young Avengers or any of that. He did specifically talk about elements of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And how they factor into the rest of the world. And of course Iron Man was brought up. And he said look um, it's not our place to talk about that. Because that's for another time. We're here to tell the story of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, their status in the world, their place in the world. Yes, the Falcon had some of his tech that was augmented and fixed up by Stark Industries, but we don't need to get into, oh, is Pepper Potts running the company? Or, oh, what's James Rhodes doing that's part of Stark Industries now? Or, oh my god, how are people grieving with the death of Tony Stark? Because that's not for these characters to deal with. They have another story to tell. And what would be the point of telling the story of another show? I mean... Yeah, I get it, right? I think you all get it. And when you look at the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the central plot there is a new Captain America and the aftermath of the blip at a more ground level. At a more, oh my god, look at all these like renegade groups that are trying to restore the world as it was during the blip or people that are trying to fix up the world in a unique way. The Armor War series is going to touch upon that, yes, and what happens to Stark Industries and Iron Man Tech, but it's going to touch upon it with those armors being used for various, uh, well, criminal doings, I would assume. Or crime organizations trying to make their own Iron Man armors to fill in that void. So you don't really want that to become the central point of a show that doesn't really need to revolve around them. So the reason they're not referencing Iron Man every single time is because they don't need to. These characters aren't really as connected to Iron Man as other characters in the MCU are, like James Rhodes, whose show will deal with it. So it makes sense. The Captain America show is about the legacy of Captain America. Why would you talk about the legacy of Iron Man? It just it doesn't make sense. 